All right, so this video I'm going to show you how to type math equations in Google Docs. All right, so the uh, the Google Docs has its own uh, equation editor where you can uh, insert equations. It doesn't work very good. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't the the equations look decent, but not real good. Here's here's the best way that I've found to do it you add this add-on this auto latex equations so you would come here to get add-ons and in the search box you would type in auto latex equations and this is the add-on here, and then of course I've already had I've already have it installed. So you would install it and you know accept whatever it asks you to accept. Uh, but that's the one you want to get. So and then once you add it, it'll appear right here. This auto LaTeX equations, and then you just hit uh, start. Okay. All right, and then. To type an equation, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to use LaTeX code, and if you don't know it, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how to uh, do it without knowing the codes. There's an easy way to do it also. But what you do is you put it whatever you want the equation to be. See, like this, you have to put it in these double dollar signs. Okay, so. So for example, let's say we want to type a fraction. So in the double dollar signs, I would type in backslash frac, and then you would have two sets of uh, braces. The first brace tells you the numerator. So, you know, we type in our video, I mean our uh, numerator. So we've got, just make it x plus two. And then the second brace is your denominator, so maybe we do that y minus 3. Okay, so you've got it typed in. And then to get it to display the equation, you just come over here and you hit render equations. And, you know, you can, you can type in multiple equations and then you can render them all at the same time. You don't have to do it each time you do one. Okay, and so... And so here's your equation, and you know if you look at it and it's it's not doing like you like you want or you mistype something, you can come over here and put your cursor in front, and you can type you can hit de-render equation, and it takes it back so you can edit the equation again. Okay, so the uh, select size. Uh, the inline and you got your font sizes I just use automatic all the time okay it'll it'll make it it'll make it the correct uh, size of the text that you're typing in your document but you know if you want it bigger or smaller you know you can use font 24 font size 12 okay but I, I just always leave it on automatic all right so that's how you type an equation now let's say that I don't know any LaTeX code. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, and there's this code cogs. Just right-click on it and hit Open Link in a new tab. I know this is coming off the screen, but it says Open Link in a new tab. Okay, and so we come over here, and you know, let's say we want to do that same fraction, but we don't know the code. So I just come over here. You see, it has all these, all these little buttons, and you can put in whatever you want. So I want to do a fraction. So there's fraction. I click it, and it throws the code in there for me. Okay. And notice here it says invalid equation. Well, when I start typing, so I've got x plus two, and then I think it was something like y minus three. We'll do y minus five. But see, as you're typing. It gives you a display of what it is, okay? Of what of what you're going to see, okay? So you know, if we wanted to do something else, let's say we wanted to do sum, okay? And you can see the little thing here that pops up. 
it tells you what the code is also. Okay, so if I hit this, then, you know, we got sum, and I don't know, we can do maybe I equals 1, okay, and then, you know, to maybe some number n, okay, and it'll, it'll put it there. And then if, you know, maybe we want to put a function in there, and so, you know, I guess we put a space, and we can type maybe f of x, well, it, wait a minute. okay, you know, this, so we want to sum this, or if, or if we wanted to make this a subscript, okay, you don't know what the subscript is, well, there's a subscript, okay, so we click that, and it, you see how it puts that, and we can just make that a subscript i, and so there you go, and now all you have to do is you highlight this, right click copy come over here and then here you just in the double dollar signs you want to paste it so I'll I'll paste it and remember in uh, Google Docs you got to do control V to paste it and the double dollar signs and now I have it there and then I come over here and I hit render equations and it will render both of them And there it is okay and you know if I messed up on this one or this one it doesn't matter you just go in front of the one you messed up on hit de-render and you can type it in again and when you correct it say I don't know say maybe I wanted this to be zero so I've changed it to zero render equations and there it is you can see it changed it to zero now I will say this I've since you know using this I'm using this in Google Chrome I've, I've found that it works better in Google Chrome uh, I have found that the equations they don't display good in Firefox and the other thing that I've ran into with Firefox is when I whenever I hit render equation this all of this right here goes blank and I have to come over here and add it again so you know you might want to take that into consideration too to me it works better in Chrome than it does Google Docs but yeah I mean you know and, and if you wanna and another thing I was gonna show you you can even you can even mix text with this so like if I wanted to do uh, say uh, I wanted to do a list like A B C and have an equation next to each one of them well you can add text and you know you can come over here to add the text okay that you can do that or the uh, the code for the text is backslash text and then in braces we put a period here okay and of course we're gonna want a space okay so how do you enter a space well it you can't do this okay that you, you're not with the space bar you put backslash comma adds one space and let's say we want to add two spaces so I put backslash comma twice okay and then I'll come over here and I'll uh, you know do my equation say I don't know 2x plus 1 equals 0 and I say I wanted that as an equation so there we go so here's my text there's my equation I hit render equation and you can see there it is a problem a is 2x plus 1 equals 0 okay so that's you know that's typing math equations in Google Docs it, it works really good when you use this auto latex equations and I found that Google Chrome works the best works better than Firefox I haven't tried any other browser it might you know you can try those if they don't go to Google Chrome and uh, you'll get better results probably all right so thanks for watching uh, give me a like share subscribe and see you later